Much. Cook found him this morning. Knife wound. Just one? Yeah. Not big either. Paring knife. Pocket knife, maybe. 
Must have been quite a go around. Yeah, must have come in over here, huh? Glass was cut. Real neat job. I always told him to put in an alarm system. Living here alone with all this stuff around. It's been dusted? Mm-hmm. Wore gloves. Anything on the outside? Nothing. J.J., did he keep much cash around the house that you know of? Not to amount to anything. Well, where'd he keep it? Bedroom desk. Hadn't been touched. Yeah. What about guns? Big rack in the den. Still locked up tight. Everything in place. I wonder if this thing kept the right time. Just like Big Ben. Middle of the night. Surprised a burglar, I guess. You guess. You don't think anybody would come out here to kill Tom Hillard on purpose. There was a man that didn't have an enemy. Not sitting on the bench or in Congress. He was a Ferris. Cool it, J.J. Sorry, Arlo. Look, suppose you go on back. I'll, I'll finish for you. It must have been real close. Yeah, real close. Well, what do you think, Sam? Nothing's missing. Suppose the thief just took off after he saw what he'd done? Maybe. Put a coroner seal on this place, Arlo. This is where he works. I don't know. He just said he'd be here. Not very smart. Couldn't be helped. I ran out of time. I have. Will you stop burning up the merchandise? What, what's that called, Bonnie? Flash paper. Now leave it alone. That's just great. I mean, how do they make that anyway? I'll get it. Can I help you? I was supposed to meet someone here. Yeah, you look like you could be my man. Where is it? Uh, Bonnie, this is a very dear friend of mine, and, uh, it's right this way, please. It's all right, Bonnie. Cute, huh? <laughs> Got dummies up there and, uh, gorillas and... Here you go. Uh... You're a little short. It's all there. Two hundred dollars. I ain't facing any death penalty for no lousy two hundred bucks. What? Well, when I was in the old man's house the other night, I, uh... I had to cut him. You killed Tom Hilliard? How did I know who he was? I don't even know who you are, man. I mean, an address to go to, an unlisted number to call, and a promise for two C's. That's all I got, right? Wrong. I want more money, I want a whole lot more, and I want it now. Like, uh, 10,000. I don't have that much. Well, get it. I can't. Not without the painting. It's, uh, it's really worth the bundle, huh? Could be. But I have to have it now. When do I get my bread? Saturday. Two days, huh? Okay, I guess I can trust you with the lady that long. I mean, you being such a gentleman and all. Aren't you gonna look at it? Hey, you know, we, uh, we got a good thing going, you and I. I mean, uh, mutual trust. Be right back, Bonnie. Enough. You want the seal on the Hilliard house lifted? No, not yet. I don't want anything touched. You gonna have another look around there? You know, there's something funny. Nothing's missing. Drawers and cabinets weren't disturbed. 
There's thousands of dollars worth of art in that house. Gun rack wasn't touched either. The judge didn't keep any drugs in the house, no cash to speak of. Just doesn't go together, does it? Well, we'll fit the right pieces into it. And it'll all go together. It always does, Arlo. It always does. So it's syndicate action. Uh, Vic, Jeff Hughes. And over here, James McNeil Whistler Unlimited. All right, which is last? He's your expert. Shading's better there. Too much Jeff Hughes, not enough James Whistler. Now, that's the kind of technique he got by with. I'm impressed. Just throw money. There'll be plenty when you're finished with this. Is it supposed to be good, too? <laughs> not good enough. But with a touch of Jeff's genius, it'll hang in the Louvre. Yeah, the perfect fake. Wonder what that makes me. You last last, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Say, did you do all of these? Yeah. All of them? All of them. So tell me, why aren't they selling? Because nobody's buying. Can you copy, um... The Dutch school. Rembrandt, Van Dyke. I can copy anything. Maybe I might have some more work for you. After this job. I'm sorry, I'll be leaving as soon as I finish here. You don't approve of me as a customer, do you, Mr. Hughes? <laughs> Vic! It's all right. You leave when you're finished. But you better finish. And it better be the best thing you've ever done. ourselves a dead end, doesn't it? Nothing left behind to tell us anything. Nothing gone to lead us anyplace. What do you got there? Looks like insurance policies. Oh, here's a copy. Okay, let's take a look. And according to this, Tom's artwork was worth a small fortune. I think one of these numbers might be missing. We wouldn't have noticed, right? Okay, well, let's start with the most valuable thing on there. What does it say? Mm, the paintings, I guess. There's one here for $50,000. Yeah. Item 31, large oil gold frame. Well, it'll be that one over there. Well, let's take a look. Yeah. That's right, 31. You know how many steak dinners that thing would buy? <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, number 18, another oil, 20,000. There's this one here. Go ahead. Hey, here's one for 24,000, number 42. 42? Yeah, large blue oil. There's this one here. 
What did you say? It was f how much was it worth? Twenty-four thousand dollars. Twenty-four thousand dollars. Remember JJ saying Hilliard used to howl for a month if he lost twenty-four dollars at poker. <laughs> oh well, here we go. Number nineteen. Hold it. What is it? Says 1871, and the paint isn't even dry. Well, that isn't a hundred years old, that's for sure. What do you think? It's a phony. Somebody slipped in for the original. What does the insurance say it's worth? Here we go. Emma Hilliard, portrait in oil by Bernard Holmes, one thousand dollars. That's the least expensive one on here. Well, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, if somebody wanted to steal one of these, why pick the most worthless one of the bunch? I don't know, Arlo. I don't know. What are you doing? Hey, man, maybe I can ask you the same thing. Who? Hey, you're, you're wrecking that. Hey, you better hold it right there. Hey, come on. I laid a lot on the line to lift that. How am I going to get my extra bread if you're ruining it? Man, what are you talking about, extra bread? I had to stick the head honcho in this town to get that for that old man. How come he's letting you scrape the paint right off the canvas? Man, you better get out of here. All right. But first, I want some answers. Now, you're going to do a little talking. Or you want to do a little bleeding? Okay, I'm talking, man. Are you listening? Man, I said, are you listening? I'm listening. Leave me alone, please. Okay, I don't know what you're in for, but you get what you got coming. You don't ask for more. You got that? I got it, I got it. Please leave me alone. Because it's big, man. It's real big. And some real big people could get a lot tougher than me. Now get out! Sam. You know, this wasn't done more than a week ago. Well, how come it looks so old? Well, the varnish was spread on the surface. It, it set up fast, and you can look right here. It created this natural system of tiny vein cracks. It gives it a golden glow that an old painting has. Difficult process? No, not really. Copyists and restorers use it a lot in museums. I think they call it the, uh, the, the Rembrandt patina. But that paint's brand new, right? Mm-hmm. So is the canvas. Pete, do you think you could run a check on that oil? Well, I can, but if you're looking for a brand name, I'm afraid the best I could give you would be a guess. Well, it's worth a try. That's all we got to go on. Okay, I'll get right on it. I'll run a check on that canvas. Find out who makes it, who sells it, huh? Okay. Then I'm gonna try to find out why the original painting is worth more than Hilliard thought it was. Where are you gonna be? Going to the college. Say, what can you tell me about a, uh, a 19th century painter by the name of Bernard Holmes? You mean you drove all the way out here just to ask me about a painter? Yeah, why not? Sam. Oh, come on. It's getting so a man doesn't know how to talk to a woman anymore. Meaning? Meaning that you ask somebody a question that she's an expert on and able to answer, and she makes us this big deal. Try me. I already did. Bernard Holmes, 19th century. Well, I never heard of him, but I can look him up. Okay. It's, uh, I think it's H O L M E S, I believe. Okay. Holmes. 
American, 1841 to 1884. Yeah. Expatriate, modestly successful in London social circles as a portrait artist. Was that all? That's all. What'd you expect? Well, I don't know, but why would anybody want to forge one of his paintings? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Did someone? Yeah, according to the lab, somebody did about a week ago. Excuse me, Sheriff. But can a volunteer research assistant qualify for security clearance? I'm sorry. I'm uh, investigating Tom Hilliard's death. Oh, that was terrible. You know, Judge Hilliard was always so generous with the college. Big contributions every year. We had his whole art collection on display just last spring. Yeah. Looks as though a painting of his that he had by home sort of might be tied in. But if it isn't worth anything, I don't know. Well, maybe I can find out, but it'll take some more digging. Yeah. What's a good time? Well, I have a department head meeting at 2. No, no, I mean for dinner. I'll be home at 6. I'll pick you up at 7. Huh? Pick up the Chianti. We're having lasagna. Oh, great. OK. OK. Hey, Jeff. Sure. Oh, now, come on. I thought we'd passed that a long time ago. Sure, I'm sorry, Sam. How's the work going? Oh, you know, OK. Just OK? Oh, fine, real fine. Look, I'd like to stay and rap a while, but I got to go see a man. Excuse me? OK. Let's not be strangers, though, huh? Yeah, it's like you said, we're past that. Jeff, why aren't you painting? I wasn't in the mood. Come on, man, you're doing a great job. I want you to relax. Well, Carl, would you please check on that requisition for the stroke battery, please? Now, listen, Jack. Listen, I agreed to do a fake, not get mixed up in some murder rap. You were going to exchange the portraits. Hold I... your voice down. Evidently, Hilliard walked in on him. And he walked in on me, man. He knows he's in the something, sweet. He's full of questions. Don't he's... worry about it. Everything will be taken care of. When does... He shares your concern about the man's reliability. Oh, why did you have to go to those people in the first place? There had to be somebody else. They're not going to hurt him. They're just going to get him out of town. Jessica, why you? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Enjoying yourself, are you, Mr. Pitts? Uh, Bonnie, I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know how late it was. Uh, you go ahead. Go ahead. I'll take care of everything. I'm waiting for a friend of mine to call. Now, look. I won't, Bonnie, I won't play with the merchandise. Word of honor. That's all right, Bonnie. I'll, uh, I'll take it. Now, don't forget to put the burglar alarm on when you lock up. Yeah, Bonnie, I won't. Uh, anything special? It's about a painting. Yeah, I thought it might be. The old man said, uh... The man said Saturday, didn't he? You got lucky. Yeah? You got real lucky. Let's go. Where? To go get the money. Well, if it's any of a kind of a problem, you can always have somebody drop. No. We go right now.
us real nice. Thank you, sir. I couldn't come up with anything else on your painter, Sam. I'm afraid that innovators are the only ones that make the history books. He just uh, made a handsome living off the lords and ladies of London. Well, that's all right. I prefer to leave my work at the office anyhow. The day that you can do that, I'll vote for a new sheriff. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Hey, Gail, you know, I ran into uh, Jeff in the hall this afternoon, and he, I don't know, he acted kind of edgy. Has he got a problem of some kind? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Afraid of what? The regions are discontinuing his grant. I tried to explain to him that it was just a general shortage of funds, but I had a feeling he was going to take it personally. Well, you bet he's going to take it personally. You know how much that grant means to him. I made a request. Request? Right, you should have jumped right down their throats. Sam, I did all I could. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that we talk about crime and rehabilitation. I know, I know. And then when you can find somebody who can help you, turn around and you do a criminal thing yourself. Now, you know something? When Jeff came in to register, I thought I had problems. He had quite a record, didn't he? Yeah. Entries from the time he was eight. <laughs> when did he first show you those sketches he did in prison? Oh, right then. He, he took them out of an old brown paper bag he had and said to me, he said, Sam, he says, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to study art in college. You like him a lot, don't you, Sam? I respect him a lot. That's a rather unusual thing for a cop to say about an ex-convict. But then you're an unusual man. You know, you had a lot to do with Jeff getting that grant in the first place. Why don't you put on your climbing shoes? Now, who do I talk to? Hmm? Dean Merrill, Dr. Rich. Most of the regents are going to be in town tomorrow evening. Yeah, what for? The benefit exhibit. Oh, yeah. There's an original James Whistler that's on, um, it's on loan from the Louvre. It's traveling all around the country. It's worth a fortune. Yeah. We have it for about three hours. Yeah, I had a request from the Pemberton Agency to provide security. All the proceeds go to the Madrid County Indian School. Yeah. Good. You feel like a little culture. Well, not that I'm against uh, getting culture, but couldn't we try to get a hold of Marilyn Rich right now? Well, sure. that much difference. All are different. From the same decade as the Whistler, mounted on the same age stretcher. And the original primer has been preserved. What about the paint? Just done a beautiful job matching the tone. No one will be able to detect it while it's new, and it may be 10 years before anyone notices it at all. You gonna be able to finish this tonight? If I can get some work done. What seems to be bothering you, Mr. Hughes? You don't have to kill that cat. He was only trying to put something together the only way he's ever learned. Now look, now wait a minute. He was a two for a nickel hustler who could have fouled up a million dollar setup, okay? Where do you think you're going? Well, you know, I guess I'm only used to the two for a nickel types, Mr. Winters. I need some fresh air. Brought us a good idea, Russell, but bad people. He's just extremely sensitive. Most people with that kind of talent are sometimes. But the picture will be brilliant, I know. I hope so. Because it's his last! Sundown, bring them reports in here to Sam. Joseph Pitts, DOA. 38 Special, point blank. Any witnesses? Possible. This old guy who owns the shop said a man came in as he was leaving. Could have been just a customer. Take him through the photo file. Started last night, didn't turn up anything. Going through the rest first thing today. Pitts has a record? Yeah. This old man, Barney's his uncle. Says he knows he's done time, he thinks it was in Louisiana. 
We'll have verification this morning. What was he doing in the shop? Well, he'd been working there about three weeks. Just showed up one day and told the old man he needed a place to stay. Where did he from? Uh, New Jersey, Newark, maybe. Got a tracer on it. We know one thing for certain. Mm. He had a knife on him. What? It's at the lab. They found blood traces up inside the handle. What type? No word yet. Well, I'm saying it was Tom Hilliard's. Might be somebody could tell us for sure. Well, I'll just call them from Cedar City with the information on those canvases. Looks like you'd better have a talk with Jeff Hughes. Who is it? Sam Cade. Just a minute. Several things, Jeff. Like? Like? Well, like, um, like the, the sort of wall that's up between you and me right now. Dr. Hyland told me about you losing the grant, so if there's anything that I can do, I'd be Look, very... man, I got five years of second guessing from the prison shrink. I don't need none from you, okay? Okay. Look, I'm not a psychiatrist, Jeff. I'm your friend. You're a cop. Man, what is it with you guys anyway? You all think just because you carry a badge, you got some special insight, don't you? Some automatic way of telling him what's right and what's wrong. You can forget that, man. Because I don't have to listen to none of your sermons on sainthood as long as I'm out and I'm clean. Are you clean now, Jeff? Is that what this is all about, Jeff? You're going to rouse me or something? What do you know about Tom Hilliard's murder? Nothing. Why should I? I believe that you forged a painting that was left there the night he was killed. Oh, come on, Chef. Well, I have a receipt from an art supply house in uh, Cedar City that proves that you bought the canvas there. A lot of people buy canvases no, no, there. No, a lot of people did. Not this size. I mean, it was a special order. The size was in centimeters, not inches. So I bought canvas there. So what? He bought three more there at the same time. What for? Some lady. She had some frames from Europe. She wanted some desert scenes to put in them. She paid a good commission. Where are they now? And I don't know. She was on vacation from California somewhere. I don't know exactly. What are you mixed up in, Jeff? What are you trying to hide? Look, man, you got something you want to hang on me. Go ahead, bust me, get it over with. And lose your parole? Is that what you want? Man, I want you off my back. OK, Jeff. I'll be back at 4 o'clock, and I want to see those three canvases. Or I want to see proof as to where they are. Listen, Sheriff. Oh, I'll have a warrant if I need it. Quit. You can't quit now. Look, I only said yes to this whole thing in the beginning for laughs. Not good enough to keep a college grant, but good enough to hang in a little. All right, that would have been something. But there ain't nothing funny about going back to the pen. Cade can't possibly prove anything. He'll try. Now, what do I tell him? All right. All right, maybe you should leave right away. But you have only to add the patina now. Finish it first, and I'll get the money to you later. Hey, man, I need time more than money. That painting has an insured value of $1 million. We're too close to walk away from it. You better start thinking about what you're going to do if I get caught. Jack. I won't let you leave yet. Don't force me to call Winters. Oh, is that going to be my choice? Cade or Winters? I'm sorry. That money will do a lot to make up for a lifetime of disappointment. I can see you've really had it rough. Discrimination occurs on many levels, Jeff. I know what it's like to be a second-class citizen, too. In the academic community, I am nothing but a custodian. The bottom of the barrel. I want out. If I can't leave with dignity, at least I can go out in style. Jeff. 
Finish the painting. The money will get you out of the country, and I have friends in France who... Okay. I'll finish it. But you can keep your money. And I don't want no more of your friends. Are you? are going to reconsider your grant. What? Mm -hmm. There's a chance it may be renewed. But how can that happen? Some reserve funds may be transferred to the scholarship fund for especially deserving students. And that includes me? In this case, it is you. But why? I haven't done anything different. Did you go out on a limb yourself? Well, I wasn't supposed to say anything, but I guess he wouldn't want me to lie either. Who? A friend of yours. He heard about it last night, and he immediately picked up the telephone. A friend? Sam Cade. He did that for me? <laughs> Why? Maybe because he believes in you. Anyway, don't say I said anything. Because he doesn't have any promises, just that it'll be reviewed. Sure. I mean, thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'll tell you as soon as I find out anything. Okay. Pitts from the FBI. Got anything on the blood traces from his knife yet? I'm just about ready. I finished the precipitin. It's human blood. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Glutination should be dry by now. We'll take a look at it. What kind of record did Joe Pitts have, anyway? If it's got a criminal code number, Joe Pitts did it. What are you doing there? Blood typing. Sabin in? Yeah, he's on his way. You looking for him? Yeah, the old man Barney from the... Punch shop made one of the pictures in the mug book. Yeah, well, when Sam gets here, give him that. It's the FBI return on Joe Pitts. No agglutination on A. No on O. Here we go, fellas. We have type B. And Tom Hilliard had type B blood. Got a picture for you. Old man's positive this is the one who came into the store. Carl DeVore. Not a local. Ready for this? Yeah. Syndicate muscle. Syndicate? And we got a lab report on those blood traces. Type B, same as Tom Hilliard's. Got a full record on Pitts, too. Everything from petty theft to armed robbery. How I see it. And assault with a deadly weapon. Do you think Jeff Hughes will help? Well, it's almost four. I'll tell you pretty soon. I'm on my way to Jeff's now. Anything I can do at this end? Yeah, check out uh, wherever Pitts is staying. See if we can turn up anything that'll fit in, right? Right. please. No, no. If he's left it, it can wait. Hughes? Yeah. Vic Winters wants to know if you're finished. As soon as the light dries, the paint, it'll be ready. We'll wait. What are you gonna do with that knife? Duke, 
give that painting to winners. Stay with him, J.J. Check. Arlo, put out an APB on that car. Alert all units. I want full security at the hospital. The original is painted on the exact same size canvas as the ones Jeff worked on. And the one stolen from Tom Hilliard's house. Of course, it was the canvas that was worth stealing. That would make a good fake almost impossible to detect. Yeah. How good is Jeff? I mean, his paintings. And... Well, he's copied everything in the museum. It's very good, very good. This one's exceptional. Yeah, it was not as good as the one that's missing. Do you think we should tell Russell? Russell, oh, Russell, yeah, he's, uh, says here, Martin Russell, he runs the museum. Yes. Hmm. You know something, that's where Jeff was going the other day when I saw him at school. Russell would know about Jeff's copy work, wouldn't he? Oh, yes. And you said Tom Hilliard's whole collection was on display here, so he'd know about that canvas, too, huh? Yeah, of course he would. But you don't think that... that... What's his background? Well... I don't think he has any advanced degrees. He was an artist, an illustrator, I think. Bright? Uh, very. And a little bitter, maybe? Possibly. Are you gonna arrest him? No, until Jeff can tell me whatever he was going to. I don't have any charge I can make stick. It's as simple as that. Sam, I was just gonna call you. Rudy struck gold. What happened? He went through Pitt's room, came up with a phone number. Unlisted, but we checked it out. Belongs to a man that works at the college in the art department. His name is Martin Russell. <laughs> you wanna tell me how you picked that out of the air? No, later. How's Jeff? He's still critical. He hasn't come to. Anything on that car? Not yet. All right. Take four men and meet me at the University Art Museum in half an hour. Plain clothes. going to a party. <laughs> well, there's a lot of sought-after people here tonight. Why come? Well, that character over there with Russell is Vic Winters. Should I know his name? 
No, I guess not. But the FBI does. What's the matter? What? Sam Cade. Who? County Sheriff. He's got good taste. Like it? Should I? Well, with a little imagination, talent, and a few batteries. And you too can be a cloud swirbler. You also get a very bad headache. Just go someplace else. <laughs> Started. What about Cade? If he knew anything, he wouldn't be here. He gets in the way. Come on, go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll uh, please be seated. On behalf of the Madrid County Indian School, may I thank you for coming, and may I introduce you to an old friend, James McNeil Whistler. He's empty grounds. Go ahead. Lecture starting. How's it look out there? Quiet as the grave. Yeah, well, keep your eyes open, okay, Rudy? Right. So you can see that the style is quite different from the early Whistler. No more blacks or quagmire grays, but there's nothing delicate or evanescent about it either. That's why his nocturnes are considered some of the... Power's off. All units close in and bring some light. I'm uh, terribly sorry. It'll just be a moment, I'm sure. One of the staff is seeing to the panel now. The doctor said I can't stay too long. He told me you saved my life. Yeah. Well, we do a lot of crazy things when we don't have time to think. There's a lot of things I'd like to say. No, there's not much you can say that uh, Russell hasn't already put in writing. Well, what about Winters? Winters? Well, let's see. There's conspiracy, accomplice to armed robbery, attempted grand theft, and murder one. Will I have to stand trial with him? No. You won't have to stand trial, Jeff. Just a hearing? No. As a matter of fact, there's somebody with me right now who's taking you into custody. Hello, Jeff. How are you doing? Dr. Harlan. Hey, I don't get this. Look, as soon as you're out of here, I'd like to see you back in school. Whether that grant comes through or not. What about the charges against me? Well, the DA has decided not to press any charges. After you spoke to him, you know something, Sam? Mm -hmm. You better start wearing that badge of yours on your coat so people can see. Otherwise, they're going to start thinking you're a fake. <laughs> <laughs> 